if I can, the statement changed from John Kelly yesterday morning to the statement yesterday evening. He said based on new allegations. But what changed yesterday absent a photograph in terms of new allegations? Well, I think uh, what I just referenced, the reports um, had additional allegations. They had more information. So you're saying the initial reports were two former wives accused him of violence, both physical and verbal abuse was not sufficient for him to say well, that they, I think they, he's a man of honor? There, there were a number of statements from, um, you know, from the press secretary, from the chief of staff, from others that reflected the Rob Porter that, um, you know, we've come to know working here for over a year um, and the chief of staff for about the last six months. But um, the, the reports are troubling, and I think the statement from Wednesday night reflects uh, the Rob Porter that we had seen in, in these news reports and some of these credible allegations. So to be clear, what was so shocking that had changed? He said it was shocking. What was he yeah, referring to? Yeah, I think the full nature of the allegations, particularly the images. You said then, just to answer, just to answer one more thing, you talked about the fact that there weren't any concerns, you said, uh, that could compromise national security or interfere with operations here at the White House. But we've spoken to one of Porter's ex-wives who told us that she warned the FBI that he could be susceptible to blackmail because of the allegations Against well, again, I, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the investigation itself. I think that's a question for the FBI and others. But um, you know, this is not our process. This is the process the U.S. government uses across agencies and has existed over numerous administrations. The president, uh, the president. Just Hang on, president. Cecilia. Uh, Raj, I just want to clarify what you're, you're saying. Here. Sure. Are you saying that the chief of staff of this White House had no idea that Rob Porter's two ex-wives had domestic violence allegations against him when they made those claims to the FBI that John Kelly did not know that? How is that possible that the chief of staff did not know that? Well, again, this is part of an ongoing investigation. We trust the background check process, and the chief of staff does not get uh, detailed updates about what may or may not have been alleged. This is a process. It involves a thorough investigation. And as I went through the process, it involves looking at um, not just accusations, but denials. Okay, what's the White House had said yesterday that Porter's decision to leave was a personal one, mm -hmm. uh, that he wasn't pressured to do so. So would Rob Porter still be on the job today had he not decided to resign? Well, Rob Porter was terminated yesterday, uh, and his last day, or his, or his, his last day, on. his last day was yesterday. I know he came in earlier today to clear out his stuff. But, but would he still be on the job? I mean, the Sarah Sanders made it very well, he, clear. He offered he his resignation, and so. it was accepted. Jim. Uh, yes. Uh, so in terms of uh, the chief of staff's uh, handling of all this, mm -hmm. no regrets? Well, I, I think um, the second statement that he, that he sent out reflected um, his thoughts, which is that these allegations are deeply troubling. Uh, they are shocking. Um, and I think the first statement reflected, um, you know, the Rob Porter that we have known. But let me ask you if I could follow up on that. Because as, as you were coming out here yesterday, or Sarah Sanders was coming out here yesterday, you were releasing a statement from Rob Porter saying that he took those photographs. That appears to be an acknowledgment that this abuse took place, uh, that he helped document it. How can the White House Chief of Staff, how can the Press Secretary, how can this White House still be standing behind him when Mr. Porter appeared to be acknowledging that he had, I, I think it's, I think it's fair to say that it that um, you know we all could have done better over the last few hours or last last few days in, in dealing with this situation. But um, you know, this was a Rob Porter that I and many others have dealt with, that Sarah had dealt with, uh, that other officials, including the chief of staff, had dealt with, and the uh, emerging reports were not uh, reflective of the individual who we had come to know. And I'm just asking one uh, other follow Jeff, uh, we've got a few. Okay. Raj, did the president know that Rob was using a was working on a temporary uh, clearance? Uh, no, the, the president uh, was saw the news report on Tuesday night and was in, informed of the resignation uh, on Wednesday. Uh, he was saddened by it, um, uh, you know, saddened for all the individuals involved. Over the